In this video, I'm going to explain how to set up the proximity voice mod, just like on Hermitcraft, which also requires a fabric server, which I'll show you how to set up and install. A standard vanilla server or a bucket or paper MC server will not work because it's not compatible. So the first thing that you want to do is to actually set up your fabric server. Go to fabricmc.net forward slash use. If you're on Windows, you can use this one. If you're on anything else, you can use this for Linux or Mac, or even you can use this on Windows as well. I'm going to download this one because I am on Mac. All you need to do is double click the installer to run the app. If you're on something like Mac, you might get a message saying that blocks you from using it. All you need to do to go past that is to go up to system preferences, click on security and privacy. And down here, you'll have a button that you need to click to give it access and allow it to run. Once you've got that working, you want to click on server over here because we're going to be installing it as a server. This is if you're using fabric for client mods, which in this case, we're using it for a server. Make sure you've got 1.17 selected, the most recent loader version, and select a location in a separate folder. So what I've done is I've created a folder on my desktop and then I'll select that location here. Okay, and then once you've selected that folder that it's going to install into, click on the install button. And what it will do is it will create a, it will say that it's successfully installed and it will create a fabric server launch.jar file. Then what you need to do is download the server jar as well. And you'll see it's downloaded that, well, in a moment. And that's all you actually need at this point. So if you click on done and close out of that and close out of that, and you'll have these two files. Now, this is what you want to install in your server. So we're going to switch to a server now. The server provider that I use, which I would recommend is called Dedicated MC. I'm going to put a link down below in the description and in the pinned comment so you can jump straight to them. Once you have purchased a server, which you, which you can do from the services section and view pricing, you can then log in to your game panel. Once you're in the game panel, you'll see a screen like this with my servers and you'll have your single server here that you're running. It'll be red, meaning that it's stopped. And uh, I've just named mine subscribe to League Gaming. Once you've done this, you can click on this to open it up and you'll get extra options here. You'll notice that it's marked as offline and it's not running. It's because we haven't set it up yet. What you want to do is go into file management over here. And if you're using another server provider, another server host, just follow along and do similar steps. But notice that it will look slightly different to this. Now you will not have this archive, but you will have a server jar. What I want you to do is just go ahead and delete that because you don't need that. And you'll have nothing left in here. Now what I want you to do, you get those two files that you generated, fabric server launch.jar and server.jar. And you want to drag and drop those into here and upload them. It may take a little while depending on the size of the files. While that's uploading, you can go ahead and return back to the fabric website and you need to download the fabric API. I'll have a link to this in the description and the pinned comment as well. And just download the most recent one here. Note that in this case, we're doing 1.17, not 1.17 pre one. By the time you're watching this video, it might be 1.17.1 or these instructions will likely also work for 1.18. So just download the latest that is stable and not a pre-release. The next thing you're going to want to download is the proximity mod itself. Now I'll provide a link to that in the description and the pinned comment as well. It's effectively called simple voice chat and it looks like this. Again, just go to the downloads and download the 1.17 version for fabric. Once you're ready, return back to the game panel and just ignore that again that I've got an archive here, but you'll have these two files, fabric server launch.jar and server.jar. What you want to do now is go into the startup settings down here and rename this one fabric server launch.jar and click away. Just make sure it had that save icon there. We can just double check by clicking somewhere else and clicking back and just make sure it remembers that name. Once you've done that, you want to go to the console and you want to click on start. It'll try starting up and then it will realize that you haven't accepted the EULA. Accept Minecraft EULA, click on accept. And then just continue waiting for it to finish starting up. Once you see here that it says raw power panel server marked as running or something similar to that and done, you will know that you're ready. Switch back to file management and you'll see that it's generated all of the necessary files that you need for your server. Open the mods directory and then I'll get you to drag in the fabric API that you downloaded and also the voice chat file that you downloaded. Now what I'll get you to do is go over to the console again and click restart to restart your server. Now what we're doing here is when the server starts up, it will generate the mod config and configuration files. If these are showing up, you're on the right track. 
And you can see we're marked as running already. Now what I'll get you to do is go back to file management. And if you now go to config here, you notice that we have a directory for voice chat. And we have a, in that directory, we have under config voice chat, a voice chat server properties file. And these are the basic settings. Now it defaults to port 24454, but what I'll get you to do instead is open, you need to open up a port. So we'll go down to network settings down here. And now I've already added a port, but all you need to do is click add additional port. It'll generate one here and you'll get a second number here. So what I'll get you to do here is copy this number and I've just nicknamed them. I think these are empty, but you can name them so you know what they're for. And then I'll get you to go back to file management. We'll go back to config and voice chat and server properties. And then in this port number, you want to paste in the port that you just created. Click save, go back to console. You may need to restart the server again to apply that port difference. So we'll do a restart. And while that's restarting, you can launch your game. If you haven't installed the voice chat mod on your client side, on your game side, do that now. Once you've done that, start your game and connect to the server. The server IP will be over here. Just click this button here and you'll be able to copy and paste all of that, including the port number there as well. That is the server IP that you put into your game to connect to the server. You want to make sure here that you see voice chat server thread server started on port. That's why we restarted it after changing the config. But right, once you're in the game, you want to press the V button in order to open voice chat settings. Click on settings. And then what you want to do is select your microphone and make sure you've got the microphone that you want to use. So you can go next, 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 next. And once we're on the one that you want, click on select and then go back. Do the same for your speaker. And then what you can do is you can enable microphone testing. Now you can either do activation by push or talk, which means you use the caps lock key, or you can do voice, which I like to do. If you enable testing, you see the threshold there, and you can move this above that. So the idea is that when you're not talking, it should be below this line. And when you are talking, it goes above it. If we disable that again, you can go escape to get out of that. And what I'll do is see how in the bottom left corner of my screen, it's showing a microphone, meaning that I'm speaking and it's activated. That means if there's another player in the game, they can hear me. Also, what you can do is press the M key for mute. And that's what I use instead. So I use M kind of like my activation uh, instead of caps lock. And so I'll just mute myself when I'm not expecting to talk or I don't want people to hear what I'm saying. And you can press M again to unmute. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that you can do groups. Groups allow you to talk to other people without having to worry about being in proximity. They can be the other side of the world and they'll still hear you. Just create a group and join the people that you want to be in the group to be in the group with you. But the most common use is the proximity mode, which means you don't need to even bother with this group session. Also, if you don't like this icon here, you can just hide it. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know.